Jordan, I challenge you to hold your breath for the entire time you're underwater. And uh, whoever wins, wins. That's how it works. Whoever comes up first loses. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you're trying to hit me. No, I won. I lost. <laughs> you don't know. Here we go. Hey yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to the next episode of Pixelmon Survival. Today, I'm having a good old time, Jordan. I'm having a good old time in this coral reef. Oh boy, there's so many cool Pokemon. Oi, the coral reef, Nick. Home to some of nature's most abundant wildlife. Yes, like what, Jordan? Uh, like, uh, like a horse. Horsey? Uh, horse, wait, what a, wait, what a, no, legit, what is it? What is the horse? Jordan, I found called? a kelp forest Why? too. Horsey? I might like Why the kelp forest more. I'm on my what, way. What is that Pokemon? Oh I gosh. saw an octillery over there. How in the what world? is the Pokemon horse over fish? here? Horse it's a core fish. Fi fish horse? Wait, is it a shiny? Horny? No, it's, it's Dude, orange. Dude, what in the world is this stupid? Dude, I can't remember what the name of the horse fish is. What, what is wrong Horsey. with me? Horsey. I already said it. No, no, no. The real fish in real life. Seahorse. Little... Seahorse. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't have air. I don't have air. My brain gets smart, but my mind gets dumb. So much to do. So many Pokemon to catch. Wow, that is really deep. Wow, wow. I know, I'm having to, I'm going to have to use the bucket. There's a Mantike, which is cool. Can I hold out a torch to see anything? No, wow. Wow, dude, this is bizarre looking and so it is deep. It's bizarre. It's very what cool. What is on the bottom? Okay, so water stones. We I need like seen those. night vision to go in here. Either night vision like potions or um, I guess we can make jack-o'-lanterns, but that's probably less efficient at the end of the There's day. There's Kingler. I don't I think he's a floating. king though. Nah, nah, nah. I see, dude, up ahead is a some type of forest biome. Presumably one that we've been through, but like it looks pretty. I like it. It looks kind of like a taiga looking thing, you know? It's a taiga looking, but it's temperate a bit rainforest, more... actually, which Ooh. is somewhat new because we were I've... just at the normal one, weren't we? Yeah, it's intriguing. I wonder if there's any variation that spawns here. I know that I don't actually know. Did they actually code Pokemon to spawn in every single biome specifically? Or That's what they said. I... Like, at I'm least for it. they said um, not all of the Pokemon, like, there are multiple Pokemon that spawn in different areas. In like, each, almost yeah, every yeah, Pokemon it's not spawns in but... different areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. But every area has a unique set of Pokemon. Roster. Certainly, yeah, yeah. That makes sense to me. Cool. That's what I thought. Just double checking. Yes. Oh, okay. Have we been here? This looks like a wasteland. What? What is this? This is a dead swamp, but near it, this looks like a f mystic grove. Jordan, I don't think Whoa. we've been to the mystic grove yet. There we better be not. some fairy Pokemon here. Go and teleport to me. This is very I'm, neat. Oh, I already, I already did, man. I'm behind you here in the mystic grove. Oh, I'm going to look through this. This is awesome. I remember we found this. So uh, a bunch of people were commenting where we found like the Redwood Forest and stuff like that. It, it was from our Scramblecraft uh, SMP series that we did with some other YouTube reviews. Uh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I just remember that series kind of phased out, and I don't quite remember why, but that was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I, I also, I just caught Rookie cool. and Baltoy immediately. Nice. Wow, dude. Good picks. Those are super cool Pokemon, too. Baltoy is a Pokemon, dude, that whenever I go back to play Sapphire again, I feel like I might train... I was training a Nosepass, but I might train that. Claydol's cool. Claydol's definitely cool. Wow, this Mystic Grove is cool. I need you to clean my sapphire man or get the battery out or something because I think my battery's like acidly. Are you not able to save? Oh no, I can still do everything, dude, but I think it might erode the game if I don't like fix it. I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah. Do you remember seeing you it? You said, Jordan, don't play this right now. Let me fix it. Did <laughs> I, I like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was never. I, I was getting got hot spring water. But yeah, I, played it I for, gotcha. Like, Dude, I played for like four solid hours while I was waiting for my dumb car to get fixed. <laughs> then, yeah, I do remember that because I was getting into restoring Game Boys and, and um, not only Game Boys, various but like, Nintendo systems and stuff. Yeah, there, and yeah. games. And I yeah. got decent, like I restored my Game Boy Advance from, hey, Swirlix, there's a fairy Pokemon I was talking about or looking Jingling. for. Jingling. catch it. Dude, oh, is nice. Jingling part fairy now? No, I don't think so. But it should be. Dude, Perhaps. doesn't it fit so well? It fits so well, dude, in with the theme of fairies, which is that fairy Pokemon are just... And a Krogunk, too, Jordan. Various uh, objects. Krogunk is rad. You have a Krogunk, do you not? I do! His name is Cheeks, my dude! You know Yeah, Krogunk. we haven't seen your Pokemon in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't gotten too much training done. I need to focus more on that. <laughs> I've been just kind of exploring the world and enjoying myself. Well, because normally whenever I train, I like finding like really effective ways to do it. I'm not as good as you are at just like ensuring that you're constantly getting stuff done, you know? Yeah, I'm really that's bad at that. what I do, Jordan. I get stuff done constantly. 
Yep, out of boy. That's me. Not a lazy bone in your body. I didn't wake up at 4 p.m. today. Nope. No. That didn't happen. Wait, actually, no. To be uh, fair, we, I went to sleep at 6 a.m. So like, or like 7 a.m. So uh, so we're we don't often do this, but we're recording in the evening right now. Uh, well, you're probably watching this in like the late afternoon or something. Dude, I'm so off schedule when I'm know, living. Yeah. Well, like I'm living by myself and I haven't yeah, yeah, until yeah. now, and it's just like it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I would imagine I um I am not for I am a married man, but. I, uh, t this morning, dude, I woke up, I went to bed at, uh, like, early, but then I woke up at one or something, or one or two, so I hopped on and I was like, hey, Nick, you up? You're like, hey, buddy, you wanna play video games? I'm like, heck yeah, bro! <laughs> <laughs> this also, is gonna be great for my sleep schedule! I found a boss Blastoise. I found a Sandy Gas in the Dead Swamp and Garbador that's cool. that checks out. Dude, all the Pokemon in the Dead Swamp are looking fly. This is perfect, dude. Oh, nice. I'm going to be taking down this Blastoise. Like, what else are you seeing, Jordan, other than just a Sandy Ghast? Bro, do you really want to hear me? Yeah. Your your favorite Garbodor? I'm going to oh, pop no. that in your bed. Oh, no. My favorite Garbodor is there? No way. Your bed's going to be all stanky. <laughs> no, don't put the Garbodor in my bed, Jordan. No, please, don't do that to me. Bro. You can't be doing that to me. Bro, he needs a place to rest. <laughs> yes, but not there. Uh, but dude, your bed is the most comfiest for him. Jordan, I might drown and die here, but no, don't. Uh, I would recommend not doing. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, no, I'm not going to drown and die. Don't worry, Good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live. But boy, was that close! I took down the Blastoise. Didn't give me anything I really wanted. I've already got some toxic orbs. I don't. I don't need another one. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. No, I, I got you, dude. Man, oh man. Did you see the, uh, the, the, yeah, well, no, I know you did. I don't have to pose it as, hey, Nick, did you, hey, Nick, did you see that new Pokemon game release news? <laughs> a lot of people seem unhappy about it, but I'm, I'm actually excited about it. I saw it whenever I, oh, yeah, I think it actually looks really cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I like stuff like that. But, um, let's see. I, I know that a lot of people wanted a mainline game, and I guess that's really probably why they're slack. But one of the top comments, too, whenever I looked was like, they're like, oh, no, people are being so, uh, gonna be so toxic. And then, uh, Oh, did you throw that at the Flababy? Yes. The Pokeball? You didn't catch it. I know. Um, <laughs> oh no, but the top gun was like, but Pokemon already has toxic moves, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we all, already got all's toxic. Fair. It's all good. Who cares? Yeah, we'll probably end up making a couple videos on it if we think it's fun. Oh yeah, yeah I'll give it a go. And then if I it's think cool, the timing yeah. for that game was the worst part about it, you know? Yeah, no, I agree completely. I agree completely. I, I think it's going to be fun and enjoyable, and I don't think it's going to be a bad game. I don't think it's a bad no. addition to Pokemon. But when everybody is hoping for that new mainline game or Gen yeah. 4 remakes, you know, it's just yeah, yeah. like, oh, you're going to announce that instead. A lot of it's people, like yeah. you're disappointing people with it, no matter what yeah, it is, I, if it's not what they're wanting. Which they, is reasonable. That's okay. Wait. Did they tease a Gen 4 remake or anything? They didn't tease No, anything, they haven't right? teased anything. So okay, that's that case, the yeah. thing. It's like people are allowed to be disappointed with yeah, it as well. I will say, in their defense, just looking at it from like a purely like business entertainment release perspective, they're looking at it as we just released Sword and Shield, which did quite well. We released the update for it now, so there's more hype around it. Bam, this is the perfect time to say, hey, we have another new thing coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I understand it from all sides. Dude, I loved watching. I, I saw Mr. Ishiwata like playing. The game. It was really fun to see the him developer playing. for the game or one of them, the lead director. What is I, don't, I don't know exactly what he is to it. Uh, big, big wig Nintendo man. I forget what he runs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's been a big name in in the. Uh, is that his name? I'm blanking. Never mind. He's been a big, big Nintendo name for a while. Anyways, what you finding, man? Where you're nothing. At? Why? Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Water. I found a sea temple. That's not very good for us though, because it's not Pixmon related, and it might be no, a little no. rough. Like we're gonna dude, drown. I, dude, I see a Wilmer and a Huntail though. Oh, it's fun the, to wait, see Jordan, them there. This isn't a Kyogre thing, right? Like this is an actual sea temple, wait. like from Minecraft, right? I'm gonna TP over to you with a full tank of air in my lungs. I've got the bucket for air, actually. I'm going to die, but then I can just TP back to you. Yeah, this, no, this this is a sea temple, same, 100. percent right? <laughs> Yeah. Is there a new way to get Kyogre? Kyogre. Yeah, they've got specific things for Groudon and Kyogre. Do I have to flood the entire world to find Kyogre now? Um, you could try. I don't think it'll help, but you can try. It seems difficult. I think I could probably just build a bunch of dirt blocks up though, then drop water from there, and then just repeat for the. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, go for it, entire world. Yeah. Would that actually would that actually work? I haven't I haven't tried it yet. Probably not. <laughs> Dude, I'm swimming I, around here, Drim, but no. I'm probably going to end up teleporting to you because I, there's actually, not anything in here. I found the fattest Cilio I've ever seen, dude. 
That really? is a plump. It's CP to me. This is a plump creature. I look would at like this, to see are you that. Right? This little thing right here. Uh, look at this Whoa. guy. That is a plump Pokemon. Yum, yum. Literally, I mean, I, you know, dude, if I was starving in the wilderness, you know, and I saw that tasty blubber, you know. <laughs> there are I, two know, of I them, and they're I'd both live. pretty big. I guess they're just big Pokemon in general, right? When I saw it, dude, at first, I thought it was just like a seal that was like ginormous, like as mega sized as possible. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, make a Gardevoir I can go take down, but still no totem Pokemon. Why? Dude. Why no totem Pokemon? I want to find you, my totem Pokemon. That's my entire Pokemon. goal for today. I know that I said that last time, uh, or in the last episode, but just in case you yeah, forgot about that, that is the entire goal for today. I just want to find a totem Pokemon, test Nick's new Starly, his OP Starly strats, and see if we can take it out. Not, it not original, work. to clarify. Completely original, big brain strats that uh, only seen here. Um, it's truth, obviously. Nick? Y yes, it's Thank truth. You. The hesitation made it seem far more believable. Jordan, I don't think yeah, this Gardevoir has any damaging moves. Sweet. That means that I could almost take it out. It has healing moves, though, so it's a, it's a little awkward. I guess I send out Eclipse here. <laughs> oh, that's... that's um, Huh, that's interesting, dude. Because of that, it actually ruins the main strat that we were trying to do to quickly take them down at the very least. Yeah, so it's huh. it's just gonna... It's gonna take a while, and uh, they, they used um, a lot of stuff to dodge and all. But I nice. think they're out of nope. They're not out of wishes. This is unfortunate. I do have to say this is unfortunate. Now the wish is true, so they okay. This is gonna take a while, Jordan, but it's it's gonna eventually get taken down, okay? And maybe it would give us another black belt or something, you know? Come on, just hit it, just hit it, just hit it. Come on, stop, stop missing. <laughs> do it. You heard the man. Uh, there we go. We took it down. And what did I get from it, Jordan? I got a Gardevoir, An another belt. Toxic Orb, a Rare Candy, and then two Ender Pearls, which we actually want. Could you grab them? Could you grab the Ender Pearls? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, but you need Great. to come and check out your favorite Pokemon. Check this out over here, man. Um, hey, it's not as bad the... as Gothita, but I it still don't like Gothita. Like, I um, it looks like a Pokemon that you would like cosplay as or something. You know what I mean? What are you talking about, Jordan? I don't even cosplay, man. What you don't? <laughs> what do you mean? Who's that Where are you that going with this? Wait a minute. Some dude, dude, he comes over to my house every so often. And he's like, hey, it's me, Nick. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? And he's he's really into cosplay. That's not you? Well, what cosplay is he in, Jordan? Well, better not be a Gothita one. No, he did, uh, he did Kui. Then he Who? did... Oh, wait, like the Professor Pokemon Kui. trainer? <laughs> yeah, and then he did, um... Yeah, no, that was, did, that was definitely not me. I couldn't pull that one off, Jordan. I, it looked just like you. It had the, uh, then there was another one that did a, um... I found a more, by the way. I, f I forget. What was yeah, no, that's we that's not me, Jordan. I found a Choodle. We already have a Choodle. You you caught the Choodle, didn't you? I did. Yeah, yeah. Choodle is adorable. So this is a Choodle for me. Heh. <laughs> Mine. Choodle. Choodle, Choodle. I love Choodle, man. I actually, I'm going to be honest. I um, I haven't put really any time into Sword and Shield besides what we did in our Let's Play. Because Which was the beat the game and do the post game as well. That's literally all I've done. Is, that's I guess a lot, I, I played a lot more because I actually completed the Pokedex, you know? Yeah. I enjoyed all of that, though. All the new additions that I saw, I quite enjoyed. Quite, quite Jordan, fun. Why won't you TP to me so Pokemon will spawn? Because, Nick, I was spawning my own Pokemon. That's illegal. I you can't be doing that. Well, no. I mean, You're they were spawning like Pokemon, Jordan. You can't be doing that, man. We yes, talked about precisely. that, man. No, Nick. I do what I want. Hey, another Yamega Island works for me. Really? And a Corefish. <laughs> Is there a Mega Yamega yet? No. Dude, I, you know what, dude? We need to get hired as, at, at the very least, consultants. You know what I mean? For Nintendo? <laughs> for the Pokemon Company? For something. You yeah, know what I mean? Mega Just... was kind of like Mega Yama, <laughs> you know, when they introduced it. <laughs> Ooh, Yamega Mega. Mega Yamega. That's what it would be. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got calm mind during my mind has been calmed. Good. Were you in a panicky state before? Um. I'll be honest, dude, I've liked some of my titles more than other titles in the series. Sometimes, like, uh, the last, not the last episode, but the episode before that dude was titled, um, uh, Park Ball Panic, and I'm like, oh, masterpiece. The alliteration, <laughs> and the panic for me where, uh, you used pretty much a Master Ball on a Totodile when we had other Pokeballs. Well, I didn't know. It was great when you I did that. Insane. I thought it was hilarious, man. I laughed I know, yeah. a lot. A lot. After the you did. After the episode, you're like, hey, Jordan, that was real cool. I liked that joke you did. Because it was clearly a joke. Thanks for doing that. Good job, mm -hmm, buddy. Mm -hmm. Then you said, hey, man, 
I baked uh, some uh, some ravioli. Man, you want some? Uh, you want to come over some for some ravioli? And Why I'm are like, you making up so many stories? I would never invite you over for ravioli. <laughs> Have you all the ravioli? ravioli is mine? Also, I found another ocean temple, but it doesn't matter. On my way. <laughs> How far away are we from home? We're about seven thousand blocks away from home, at least, dude. If, that's um, insane. If history, um, if history repeats itself, dude, we're about to appear back at our Pokemon Center. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, right? Okay, what is this place? This looks like somewhere we've been before, but let's, hey, Nicholas, let's double check. You notice that I'm flying? Chaparral, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You were flying no! by tele- Were you teleporting me constantly? Is that what yeah, was going on? Yeah, does that, like, keep your momentum somehow? Yes, it keeps your momentum, Jordan. What? Haven't you played Minecraft before? I want well, this ghost oracorio. I... It's possibly oh. my favorite oracorio. Oh! So wait, dude, even though it was a little distance, I technically extended the fall for the yeah, full duration of Yeah, you fell for a very long time. I'm that catching so many hilarious. cool Pokemon, dude. I, I want to train so many different teams and all. Lots of fun Bro. things to happen, you know? Yeah, man. Dude, I was thinking the same thing, dude. That same thing that you were thinking I was thinking. Can't even wait for episode 100, Drew. Think about how much will have happened by episode 100 of this series. We'll probably have a level 100. We'll probably have built a new house. We'll probably yeah. have responded to more comments. Hopefully we've we'll built a new house. I'd be sad. Episode 100, dude, would probably get mad views since we've never done that before. I know, right? I kind of want to do it for the series. Dude, I feel... I I want to do that. I will say normally either at episode 25 or closer to 50, I feel like we'll hit some wall where we're like, all right, time for season two. Like, that's I don't always know. Exactly I feel like there's enough content this time. You know what? Maybe you're right, dude. You know what? Maybe there'll be enough that we can keep this going while having ter tertiary other series going around it to keep everything fresh yeah that might be the hopefully. play that could totally be the play that i'm just catching awesome. all pokemon now because like i'm going for that long con now you know i want i want to catch all long the pokemon con. i don't think that's the way that you use the term long con if i'm being honest with you oh really no isn't uh, like a long con you're trying to like Let trick somebody not Maybe necessarily this, th this is the play this is the plan this is the ultimate goal. i'm gonna go the distance he's going the distance well, Jordan, I'm catching a Lydon, which is pretty cool. I think Lydon's a very good Pokemon. I enjoy it. I, I, dude, I love that entire line. Torcat looks fantastic. And in Incineroar I, is just lovely. I literally was about to say Infernape. I'm really glad you cut me off. <laughs> dude, and then Infernape, yes, Infernape, its final evolution? The Luchador cat? You know what I mean? Dude, I didn't Infernape? know Incineroar's name up until Smash came out, even though I picked Lydon in my, my Let's Play. <laughs> um... Because the reason why, yeah, Drew. Yeah, yeah. Okay, by the way, I would have picked Rallet, but all of my friends picked Rallet, so I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. If they're all, all going of my to do friends, that. if all of your friends pick Rallet, would you pick it too? No, I'm gonna be quirky and original. Um, but Drew, <laughs> so <laughs> that is what happened. But I thought it'd be funny name Lidden Charizard, so I never mm -hmm. knew Toracat or Incineroar's name. I only knew Lidden's name being Lidden or Charizard. Oh, I'm I'm certain that I've done that for. Pokemon in our Sword and Shield Let's Play dude that we did. Yeah. Whatever we name, like, I think whatever, I forget, what did we name our Centipede? Did we name him or did we not? I don't remember if we named stuff in that series really. I do not remember either. I, I, I can't, do, I, no, I we like chose we not to. We chose not to. Oh, so that I actually would know the names. Also, if you hear very loud noises, I have neighbors who set off fireworks every night for the nice. last month and a half. I've seen that actually. It's because 4th of July is on the way, dude. I, I've had They've that. They've been doing it since too. the start of May. Yeah, um, I, I, I saw that happening and I was just sitting there like, why? And then my wife was like, well, you know, they probably went to get fireworks and, you know, if they have kids, you know, they're going to want to, they're, they're going to want to use them. fireworks them, legal, know, Jordan? I have I always see things no about idea. fireworks not being legal, but I've also always shot off fireworks every year. It's probably, it probably depends on the state. Am I a crim and criminal? Country. And it's probably whether or not you're in a city or not. Because I, I will, I'm not. I won't admit to having shot off or not shutting off fireworks. So they are <laughs> shotting off fireworks. Nice, Jordan. If the man can't even speak proper grammar, clearly he could not commit a crime. Um, yes. <laughs> hopefully that he can't read. Court. He doesn't know your laws. <laughs> even a good lawyer couldn't win this case. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, well. Uh, I'm gonna take Ooh, it dude, 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 dude. I found dude, something dude, dude, neat. I found a forest. It appears to have some very nice wow. trees, Jordan, that I'm blinking. Oh, Cherry blossom. Oh, cherry blossom for us. Oh, and you, yes. you passed a Kulava as well, dude. I passed yeah, a Kulava. I love Kulava. Dude, Kulava, yo, is it actually? I'm trying to think. It might be my favorite second evolution. Let me think real quick. Oh, of like an in-between that has what another one coming. I, that's what I'm trying to think of. Does anything? Bayleaf is good. 
Bayleaf is up hey, there. Where's Clava? There's Clava. Let me think real quick. Dude, it I don't and nothing might beat it. Let me think real quick. Does anything beat I it? I like Colava more than I like Typhlosion. I, I like Typhlosion too. too, but you know. Well, dude, but then I also, likewise, I like Bayleaf more than I like Meganium in the exact same way. You like Fraligator more than you like Crocknaw, though, right? I, that's true. Even that though you like Crocknaw. He goes from Totodile, which is just this cute little happy, dancey, like, crocodile. You know what I mean, man? Yes. Just a little snapper. Into, like, like you know, he's filling out. He's getting a little pudge to him. You know what I mean? He's, he's getting ready to, to, to bulk up into his final evolution. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, no, And man. then he finally he, he becomes the ultimate croc, you know? Yes. So I like it. Works for me. I like Cottony a good deal, too. Lilligan's one of my favorite Pokemon. I say that because I found one. What is... Oh! Totem! Totem Snorlax! Totem, totem, totem Snorlax! Totem, totem, totem Snorlax! Totem Snorlax. Totem Snorlax! Dude, this could be the ender if this works. Let's I should go back to catch that that uh, Cottony at some point. But, dude, this is what we Wait, came here for. This is what we've go. been waiting for. Where'd he go? go? Just kidding. Catch okay, we can go. He's here. Dude, this is also, a I think there's a desert up ahead, which we haven't found yet. That would be fantastic. Here we go. No, no, have we not found a desert in this area? Oh, you may be right. I okay, haven't gotten endeavor. a single Oh, I need to poke a heal actually because okay, I don't have yeah. any of those. Okay, dude. This is the moment of truth. This is going to be the end or due of the video if you pull this off. I think it's going to work on number working. four. What? It's going to work on number four. Hey, Jordan. Okay. It's got yeah. so much HP. So they have, I heard, I think five times more HP that I accidentally just, it used Endeavor, but he missed. He used a move that didn't affect me, Jordan. Mm -hmm. So it actually got me him down to 76 HP, but it looks like that. he has like none HP. I live with the focus sash after using Endeavor Dude. again. So quick Dude. attack's going to take him down. Dude! Sorry, Avia took down the totem Pokemon. Oh, it's beautiful. It's I so got beautiful. a Snorlium Z and a normal Sick. gem. Okay, this looks really cool. Now I need to catch a Snorlax, Jordan. I need to catch a Snorlax. <laughs> All right, well, next time on Late Games, dudes, we will catch a Snorlax, continue our adventure, and see what is up ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to slam that like button. If you're the channel, my name is Jordan. You're watching Next Perspective. We are Late Games. And we will see you next time in the next episode. Uh, bye, dudes. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, this is a neat area where we're hopping into. Yeah.